Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point Terror from the Void. Phoenix Foxtrot is about to be uh, attacked, so we're definitely going to be doing that this episode. Uh, and probably next episode we'll be doing the Haven Defense over at Fort Dauntless. Uh, but for right now, uh, we are very specifically limited on our options. Taking out the lair didn't remove this invasion, so we're going to have to face it down the old-fashioned way. And it's a real shame because we have a couple of uh, things that I believe were being manufactured. And they're just not quite going to be ready in time. We'll still be able to do some gearing on the B team just before we kick this off. Uh, let's cancel that for the second. And we'll just see what we have available. Um, right. More specifically, do we actually have any Gorgons ready to go out? No, we don't. So we've already equipped what we can. All right. Well, let's just put the team in and uh, try and save the base. Uh, now we can have nine for this one. Uh, so definitely those guys are staying behind. Uh, Santino, you're staying behind. Muse, you're coming out. Uh, so it's the regular folk plus Anne, by the looks of it. It's tempting to get one of the uh, the mutoids in on the party. A little bit tempting. Double perception would be kind of useful if we were to gear you specifically for max perception. That's not going to give you any extra perception. And we don't have any other bits to give you, so you know what? We'll we'll just keep it with Anne. Okay. First things first, let's get our frenzy on. And then we'll have a look at where we've been put and what we're trying to do. So uh we need to destroy the sentinel. Uh, so that means we're going to need to get someone out into All set. this zone over here. There's a lot of mist, which I do not like. Someone should really do okay, something clear. about clearing that up. Let's bring Jordan over this way. Because that will clear some of the mist out. Heading out. And that gives us our eyes on very first mm, acid... Moving to related guy. In fact, we've got a couple up there. Rather inconveniently positioned, but what are you going to do? I assume they've come in through the access lift. Don't know why everyone's decided that they're going to deploy right at the back, but that is where they've gone. Let's move on in and see if we can't at least get eyes on our target. There we go. It is just a hatching sentinel. And there are quite a few other targets that we're going to want to take out. But getting that gone is really our first port of call. We can get into position really quite quickly and be able to attack. So let's bring Rafa up. I'll be there. We might need to see if we can do some uh let's mark this for death. Seventy-three times three it's got 340. That's not going to be enough. It'd be 83 times 3, but it's still not enough. If we've got a quick aim shotgun, that might help, but we need someone who's going to be able to do like an onslaught within range to be able to help out. 
you can do an onslaught, but you can only get to there. That's not great. You can't do an onslaught, and you can't quite get the angle, but you can get close enough to do a pistol shot, so that'll help. You can't do an onslaught, and you can't do an onslaught. Okay, so our, our onslaughters are really quite limited at the back. We could maybe do like a, a chain. Like if I get to there, that might be close enough to manage it. And then if we do one from behind with gunless, maybe. Or we just do it on someone like Jordan and and try and lure them all in. Okay. Regardless, let's get Muse in. More eggs somewhere. Don't know where we saw that precisely. Sure thing. Gunslinger, up on this, it should be enough to to do a decent amount of damage. Success. Two good hits. Let's get the quick aim going. Because this might be enough by itself if we let it expand up a little and puff out, just like that. There we go. Right. Now we're on a time limit. Where do I want to move to? Get back behind proper cover? You might get shot, but... Time for the bush. You're going to be in a slightly better position over here, I think. Ever so slightly. Channel open. So let's think about decoys and what we can do for actually shooting stuff. Finger on the trigger. Mm, don't care too much about the murmured and egg, especially not at this range. We can get in reasonably close over here, or we could send one person upstairs and prep for, like, pushing out. With a height advantage. And I think that's a pretty nice idea. So we'll get you in place. Ready, ready, right, let's enable. look at the others. Eileen. We can bring you around this side quite nicely. Get some flanking with your stealth. Ready for action. Lever. For the moment, there's a lot of potential for taking you up top but I think we'll keep you down below and in the main right, corridor fine. right gunless we need your overwatch please so I'm actually going to pull Jordan out to here I'm here and gunless we're going to get you in place double time And overwatching with your massive, massive, massive gun. Overwatching. That's going to be very nice. I'm here. Uh, Luana, we can actually get a decoy out with you. We might still do that. Let's bring Izzy into here for now. Yeah, 
Let's get up to there. Five by five. So parapsychosis making this wild I don't think is gonna help us. So let's just get a decoy out somewhere a bit obvious but not too obvious. Like not directly in the line of path of one of our people. We can still do a decoy next turn should we want. And you can't go on Overwatch anymore, so just uh, just wait where you are. Now that's not the Overwatch I was expecting. But we've kind of eliminated this guy's ability to fight. And there's always a chance they're going to shoot through and hit their own guy. So is he going to do grenades? No, he's running in to do some stabbing. This is quite good because it's right up close. I want you to come somewhere a bit more exposed. That'll do. I am happy enough with that. Okay. Gunness. Identifying target. You can see the problematic guy. Right, he's got regen torso, so he's not gonna be going anywhere. So we could do two quick aims, or we could do a if we do two quick aims and then someone does like an onslaught. That could be really quite powerful. Taking aim. Got him. Also destroy the thing in the back, because apparently we shoot through everything these days. Ready to fire. Well, that could have gone better. Torso and arm disabled, so he's not going to be doing any regen. Uh, if we get a kill with Rafa, then it's going to inspire everyone. I should check this nearby guy, see what's going on with him. Touched by the void, but we don't know how. Right. On it. Sure, this is going to be accurate enough. Let's wait for him to lean over a little. Mm, sure, that's good enough. Wow, that really did very little. It's kind of funny in a way. He's going to bleed out on his own turn. Um, but it would be really nice to get the kill. To get the extra willpower for everyone. Or we could do it with, uh, with Muse. We could do it with Muse. So let's instead... This place stinks. Get a shotgun blast on you. Really thin, thin him out. He doesn't look touched by the void anymore, which I'm sure is not accurate. I'm here. Okay, Muse. Start off with this guy in this leg, I think. Too easy. Insights. And the guy behind, please. Can 
and need to do that again. That's giving us the extra willpower. I'm here. Moving Luana in to fight that one doesn't make a lot of sense. Let's just get Jordan to finish it off so it's done. Ooh, we can actually see a guy right down the end. That's probably a better better use of Jordan's shooting. Acquiring target. Okay, step across. Get a shot. Is this really the best they can do? And then we'll move to here and put a decoy out. Okay. We could start thinning some of these eggs out. 160, we'll be able to do it in one go. If we dash in, we can kill it and then move out of uh, the line of fire. Like that. That makes me feel pretty happy about our positioning. Uh, Lever, I'd like to actually bring you around here, please. Be quick. Good place. Eileen, I think we're going to bring you in similarly. Don't, don't want to expose you without knowing where... where our friend is down there, but I guess we can put you on overwatch like this. Nothing's getting past me. For the moment. And honestly Izzy will tuck you in here. not accurate enough to do a shot at that range. I do love this weapon, but that's just going to have to wait where it is. Right, and I want to get you out here, but I don't want you exposed this turn. Maybe over this side, it should be fine. Watch out, I'm moving in. That'll do. That will do nicely. Oh, Actually, yeah, we can we can get Izzy all the way up to here, or even even tucked in there. That'd be good. Use the extra movement while we've got it. I'm here. That just leaves Muse to go on Overwatch like that. So we know there's at least one Triton down the end. There's probably more nasties out there as well. That is our target right there. Unfortunately, didn't trigger the overwatch, but they are at least standing slap bang in the open. This one will. Worms or Myrmidons? Something small is burrowing towards the team. Multiple targets bearing down on the hangar. We could activate uh, things, but I don't think we really need to. So let's instead look at getting some direct kills. Here we go. Uh, 
What's the shot like on this guy? That's pretty nice. We could do a quick aim and then still get an overwatch shot. Now the paint chameleon torso is going to be annoying, but if we're careful... We got his leg, we got his head, we got his leg. We know where he's moved to, so we're going to be able to pick him off. There you are. That was a hit. We'll do more of those. Probably a hit. That was a miss. Targeting. And that was a miss. We might have to send someone else in to do some hammering. Which is fine, because that's going to be in range. Or do we go around for this one and just get him done? He's going to spawn a number when he's uh, when he's finished. We could mind crush him. It's not quite enough. But it's close. We get Eileen to step in and do some pistoling. That will do it, actually. I am. Let's do this. Your regen torso is not going to help you when we shoot you in the leg. Okay, we know that we're going to have an Umbra come out of here, so we're going to want Overwatch set up for that. I'm here. But we can at least get Luana coming and smacking this. Hi. Oh, you've really not got much left. You are frenzied, though. Or maybe we were frenzied. Either way, there was frenzy involved. We've got a bit of space between us now. Oh, Eileen got her um, action points back. Because of the uh, the stun from attacking slightly behind. That's amusing. Okay, well, we want to get a bit over here so we can set up Overwatch. And we'll do Overwatch like this, I think. Catch it as it comes out. We're going to move others forwards and get more Overwatch set up. I'm going. There is going to be more targets down the end. Got you covered. Holding position. So we'll do what we can where we can. Uh, Izzy, well, we could get you doing some overwatch against this thing as well. If I get you to here, you'll have a pretty nice angle on it. And hopefully you're not too exposed there. News. We'll bring you up Easy, slightly right? to the side. I'm getting Overwatch down the end. Ready for action. So last but not least, Lever. Because of your potential for the takedowns, uh, I'm going to start moving you in for egg clearance. Mm -hmm. 
And that's where we'll put you. Now we know we've got the little annoying critters appearing. Hopefully they don't straight start off with attacking and injuring anyone. You never can tell in this game though. Lots of hidden movement. Alright, someone's got a sniper down the end. Couldn't hit the enemy. That's an annoying position for the Overwatch to get triggered. Oh, in the face. I am quite unhappy about that. Okay, that's all that was needed. More worms and myrmidons on the way. We have our friend round the corner who is ready for a smacking. Can't, can't quite reach him in one go, but we'll be able to dash round and do it. Or we can adrenaline rush, which would allow us to kill him when we get there. Let's do the adrenaline rush. And if we hit this guy from behind, we should do enough stun that we get our action points back. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Uh, he's going to bleed out so we can ignore him and we can go after whatever this is. I've got a visual. Hi. I am quite happy with that choice. Okay. All right. Feeling like that went okay. I was talking about doing some egg clearance down here. I'm wondering if that's still a viable idea. We have some myrmidons that do need to be destroyed. I could do two mine crushes. That would kill the egg nearby and significantly damage this guy up on top. I wonder if we can get close enough to get this one as well. Still got a few spaces, so yeah, I think so. All right. One. Two. I love how it's just doing plain damage. If we could get one more wheel point, we can do it again and destroy that one. Ready. Eileen, you can do inspire, can't you? All right. Let's uh, try some inspiration on... Actually, I, I'd like you to shoot this one over the back, if possible. Doing a super long range shot isn't going to work. Ready to engage! Venomous Myrmidon up here, we can destroy the torso. Hostile injured, but alive. 
Just need to make sure we don't miss. God damn it. Alright, someone else is going to have to come up and help with this. Muse, would you get close enough to just tickle, tickle its back, please? Okay. Show them. Now we can ignore it slash run away from it. Still alive. With people. If we get to here, we could do an overwatch down the end. Standing by. Right, let's do the uh, the takedowns that I was talking about. That doesn't actually give any inspiration, which is a bit of a shame. So that means you're going to need to be actually shot. Or panicked. Oh no, that one could be panicked. So you're going to need to be shot. Which we could do with an overwatch. Or we move Eileen over to here and do like a pistol thing to finish this guy off. It does mean we're going to be exposed to the sniper, but we should be okay. 155. Hopefully we'll get some panic on him as well. That's what I'm thinking. Enemy down, I think. That's the Inspire. Mind crush to finish him off. Which should give them even more panic. I'm really hoping with this at this point. Alright, Jordan, if I get you forwards, at the very least, we can put a decoy out. And then Rafa... get you forwards and do an overwatch here for when that one inevitably moves however they inevitably move I think that's that's probably all we're gonna be able to manage overwatching lots of worms there's a siren Okay, doing a spot of mind control. The venomous myrmidon is just going to bleed out, so I'm not too worried about that. It's going to take a while, so we're probably going to want to send someone after it, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, something in the air could be Triton Infiltration Team, could be something worse. Let's see if we can sort some of these problems out. Luana, if you get round and stun this, potentially... 
Trying to reposition. At the very least, I can see them. getting into position means we'll be able to see it with Eileen. We need an angle. Uh, That's a day's shot, so we get another one. Heading out. No, I can't take much more of this. Well, we can get in and kill this. But hitting the siren once will give us back our action points. Should have given us back our action points. This could be a problem. Heading out. Okay, we'll back up a little. Let's see what else we can do. Uh, we could do some onslaughts. Or we can do some direct shooting. I do like direct shooting when it's available. On it. That feels like it might be a bit OTT. That didn't work. Ah, oh, fumbled. You're not mind controlled. There should be no jamming field. Maybe it's because uh, Raph is not particularly skilled in it. Okay, not a problem. We'll just do something else. Okay, let's start clearing some of these little things out. Ugh. I'm pretty sure that was a kill. Need an Goodbye, first fireworm. Those two are inconveniently positioned, but we can actually get a lot closer before taking shots. Enemy down. Ugh, I think. Okay, next up. Fatty one over in the corner. Good. This one's pretty close, but should be okay. Right, that has thinned out a lot of them. We could still go on Overwatch for this coming over the edge. Amy. So, Rafa, your shot, I think, is actually going to be best going after the Mind Fragger. Just feels like such a weird uh, wibble that goes around there. Let's try it. Got it. Okay, that's good. going to allow us to move Double in time. and start putting the pressure on the guy at the back no choice but to keep going cuz Eileen's going to get shot at again ready for action lever take out that acid worm Could also step in here and do two smacks on it. Those are just fireworms. The mine frag is annoying, the myrmidon's annoying, but the fireworm's not too bad.
Okay, that is significantly clearer. And in theory, we can go on Overwatch, but the Acid Worm is not going to reach anyone, so... Let's ignore it for now. I'm here. Muse. We can't actually get you up and face this uh, acid worm because of its position. That is amusing and annoying at the same time. So right, we'll uh, we'll do it with our trusty Anne up on top. You know what, Anne? As much as I called you trusty. Be right there. Let's not be missing. Them. Ready to engage. Same again. I'm on the move. Get so close that you can't miss. Finger on the trigger. Good. So, Muse. Can we do something more about this siren? Well, that didn't help. We'll overwatch for it moving. Types that. That's a fireworm. So we're probably fine with it being a fireworm and being firewormy. Let's go to here. We'll overwatch right to the back. Don't think we're going to see anything. Get an overwatch over the top. And I think that's all we're going to manage. So the siren's trying to back up a bit. That acid worm's not going to reach anyone. This one's coming over. Well, that crossbow did not help. Now, the bit of fire damage, of course, isn't cool, but it's also not too problematic. That's getting problematic. We need eyes at the back. Hello. Now I see you. Now we can get gunless on you. Okay. Exworms, Minefrackers, and Myrmidons can be left, so we can ignore the Myrmidon that's actually run away. Is he. You know what? Stay still. Ready. Is what I'm gonna say. We're gonna come across. the weakest part. The arm is the weakest part. Oh, no. That's going to let us finish it off with a pistol. Uh. Great. You're still not panicked. You've still got six willpower left. It's quite incredible, really. I'm here. Uh, but we're going to do some onslaughting. Does he have pain, Chameleon? He does. Good idea. So shooting him in the torso. We 
would be really nice. Okay. He's going to run. But that's fine. Let's get a bit closer. We can step in, we can breathe some mist, which is going to restock. We can get the onslaught. We can do adrenaline rush, which is going to allow us to just smack, smack, smack. And then we can yeah. Potentially do exertion when we get in closer and find where he is. So we know he's somewhere over here. And I wonder if he might be at that point. Let's uh let's hop in, say hello. Hostile spotted. Hi, exertion. <laughs> Down he goes. So who's left? I suppose there might be a remaining guy somewhere. Guess it's my turn. Kind of feel like you're in a bit of a dangerous predicament. Comes online. I know how to do Let's just bash this, get it done. Take down. So the only thing that I know of that's still left is that Marmadin at the back. I suppose we could uh, we can send Anne after it. There might be tritons that have appeared in the base. That's a possibility. We should consider setting up some uh, some overwatches. Got you covered. Maybe even getting some decoys out. You know what, get to here. Get a decent overwatch going towards the back, please. Is he? Uh, I kind of want to say recover. Just, just do what you can to not burn up. And uh, Luana... For what it's worth, get behind cover On here. Until we know what's where. So that one was panicked. Yeah, that sounds like there's a triton. Yeah. Sneaking around. Two good hits on it. Might not be the only one. But it gives us an idea and direction. Up top as well. Shooting our brand spanking new sniper. Only a little bit of paralysis, but... Still rather annoying. Woo! 
Thank goodness for corners. That is a lot of them coming in. Ow! Very painful. Yeah, we're going to need more than... More than just a few we've got guarding this corner. Muse, if I get you to here, apparently you can take a shot. Yeah, that's not going to work. That looks like it will work, though. You know what? Go for it. I think getting Jordan going after this guy is probably our best bet. Mm. This is going to be frustrating, I can tell. Okay, shot him in the gun. That's fine. Right, then we need to back your way so you don't die. Gun this. Uh, we can definitely afford to do quick aims on the first one. I just need the right angle. That would allow us to move in and get another shot, or we can quick aim and then move away. It's a bit tight, but... Target missed. There goes his gun. I'll take it as an unexpected win. What's needed? Right, from the far side. We're going to want to just move in as well, much as possible. Uh, Luana, yeah, you're so far away. You're not going to be able to do anything worthwhile. We can get some frenzy on for next turn. That'll help, Lil. No one's quite in range for the onslaught, though. Uh, Eileen, you should take care of your bleeding issue. Let's do that before I forget. What was that? And Rafa, we could, sure. if we get lucky, jump you into a worthwhile position. Okay, you're going to be able to help. I'd say get to here That's for now. Generous. Draw some of the fire. And in the meantime, Anne is going to have a look towards the back. Enemy in visual range. Moving now. Okay, I think that'll do for this turn as much as we can. Pop. Helps them lose a little bit of willpower. Very painful. This might 
might go badly. We're supposed to have someone else draw the fire, not Muse. We're going to need to run Anne away, I think. Ooh. Got another one on the side as well. Okay. Not the worst. Definitely not good, but not the worst. One hit. That was easy. Second hit. What now? Rafa, could you rearrange people's inventory a bit, please? I want Jordan to be getting some medkit stuff yes, done. And then potentially hiding in here for a second. In fact, go as far Maximum in that corner effort. as possible. Right, Muse. I want you to step to here. Rafa's going to sort out your med stuff. Gunless. That's such a tight shot. Got him in the torso but though. Wounded, but, but active. He is not running away. Moving out. Anne is in a terrible place. Really, really bad. Let's back up to here and we'll do an overwatch. Heading out. Here. Okay, Muse, can't really step you in and put you on Overwatch this turn. I'm listening. But I could get you ready to go upstairs next turn. Not now, please. Or I could bring Rafa up and get an overwatch on that angle, which is not the worst plan. If you say so. I'm here. I really wish that. The fire wasn't quite as prolific here. We're going to have to back up a teeny bit just so Luana doesn't get caught in it. May as well clear some of the mist. Comes online. Uh, Lever, yeah, let's, uh, let's bring you up. Let's 
zooming in. And see who we can see where. Not really good eyes on that one, but if we step to here, we can definitely see we'll that right one on there. the corner. Let's mark it for death. It does have pain, chameleon. So we just have to do what we can. You know what? Tuck into cover. We'll overwatch there. So Izzy is the last one and Izzy can't really do much. Maybe Eileen can see all the way down the end. Oh my god, through the fire. That is not going to happen. All right. At the very least, I'll try to get there in one piece. Talk out of sight. Ooh. Very painful. That's it. I'm dead out here. Gotcha. <laughs> Dislike the up close and personal, but newbies got to do what they got to do. We need to get some healing on our priest. Oi! Oh, 16 paralysis! Ow! Yeah, did not like that. Okay. You are still alive. So let's uh, let's work on keeping you that way. I need gunless. Step out, have a blast. Yes. Muse, step out, no have a blast. On it. Or we mark it for death and hit it with a big. So we're going to get a number, that's fine. We'll deal with that. I'm prepared. As it appears. Right, lever. Really, really nasty. In fact, let's not do you next. Let's uh, do Anne. So Anne only gets two shots. So using the pistol makes a lot of sense. And then an overwatch for as it moves any way at all. It steps closer, it will get shot. Not now, please. Right, Rafa. I want to know how this thing got the Athena. Enemy still active. But I guess it matters not. Because however it got it. It's using it. Okay, that's fine for us getting in position. Luana, let's uh, get you close. Uh, 
I'd love you to be able to help out with the Overwatch, but I don't think you're really going to be able to. I mean, from this range, for sure. That's going to have 282 health. If we go to here, we could drop a decoy and do some overwatching. Here I am. Let's do this. So, decoy out. And overwatch nice and wide. I'll stay behind. Could maybe get some more overwatch over Ready. Sort of. over the shoulder. <laughs> Try and eliminate these last threats without anyone else suffering for it. Uh, Eileen, we're just gonna bring you in. Repositioning, prioritizing speed. Straight down Main Street. I got this card. Okay. You're probably going to die as soon as you move. You're going to come around, try and do some paralysis shenanigans. We'll see how that goes. Good. First bit went according to plan. Have you moved too far? No, you're using your little pistol. First time we've had someone actually paralyzed, paralyzed. Gotcha. Plenty of Overwatch. Okay. Rafa. Would you like to eliminate this guy, please? Before we do, we'll have a look and see if there's any medding that we want to do. Although I could just send people back to rest afterwards. Get him gone. Just, just be done with him. He might live through that. Let's, uh... Let's pick something that's going to do a bit of shredding as well. Or we bash him twice. Mm, bashing him twice isn't going to do enough. Let's bring Anne in. Target. Ultimately, the problem is um, he's got pain chameleon. So yeah, let's um, let's just laser him. I'm not skilled with this one. Well, that did not go according to plan. So pistols and then a bash. Ready to fire. Not now, please. Jordan, I'd love you to come up and contribute to this. I don't know how or even if it's going to be possible. Maybe we can get someone with an onslaught involved. Oh, but we don't have enough willpower. Okay, what we'll do is we'll get underneath. How much health has he got? 66? 
Mine crushes six. Let's just kill him from underneath. Mine crush. Such an incredibly powerful ability. I really, really think it is amazing. A couple of injuries towards the end. Those uh, tritons did catch us a bit unawares, but overall, that went well. So the base has been defended, and all we got to show for it was a Cyclops. Not brilliant loot, I'd say. And we don't even get to see where it was launched from. Uh, people are going to need to rest up just a little bit. This is a good place to do it because of the medical facilities. So I'm going to leave, uh, leave the team over here. And uh, the A team is going to keep making their way across to Fort Dauntless. But that is going to be next time, I'm afraid. We are unfortunately out of time for this episode. Thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Phoenix Point Terror from the Void. See you soon.